So today I talk about a P0097 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0097 code? Well, it's intake air temperature sensor to circuit low. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called an intake air temperature sensor or IAT sensor. And it just reports back to the computer, the temperature of the air as it goes into the engine. And this allows the computer to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders because as the air becomes more cold, it becomes more dense. And so the computer can make small adjustments to the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders, which will fine tune the engine and keep it running really well. But when you get a P0097 code, or the computer seeing that there's some kind of issue going on with this sensor, mainly with the intake air temperature sensor too, and that it's reporting bad information. And so it's gonna to have to be troubleshooting to know why. And one thing to note about these intake air temperature sensors is that they can't be by themselves. They can be built in with other sensors. Quite often they're built in with the mass airflow sensor. There can't just be one sensor. There can be multiple sensors and things along these lines. And so for this reason, if you are going to work on your vehicle, you will need to do some research and get a diagram where all the sensors are located and what's going on with which one, because it's really going to vary. It's just going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the manufacturer, different things like this. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, be sure to research where that sensor is located, if it is on its own or if it's built in with other sensors, because like I said, it will be different. It will vary depending on the vehicle. And so what would be some causes of a P0097 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that IAT sensor has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. Like I said, where that sensor is located and what's going on with it is really going to vary. It is very common for them to be built in with the MAF sensor, but they can't be separate. There's some different ways to go about testing that sensor. And basically these IAT sensors are what's called a thermistor, which is a resistor whose resistance changes with the temperature. So as the temperature changes, the resistance changes, and the computer can see this, and it can calculate what the temperature is. So if you have a multimeter, you could check it for resistance or ohms, and then you can use like a hot hair dryer or something like that and see if the resistance changes. You could look up what the rated resistance should be at a certain temperature. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can also check to see what the temperature is. And if it's showing some kind of temperature that's really off, say the engine hasn't been running or anything like this, and it's showing like 800 degrees Fahrenheit or something, then you know it's having some kind of issue. So there's some different ways to go about testing that sensor. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad intake air temperature sensor. And the next thing that could cause this code is the wiring going to the sensor. If there's any kind of problems inside that wiring, there's like an open, a short, there's a bad connection, something like this, then it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. You can use a multimeter to test that sensor's wiring, and you will need to get schematics to know what's going on inside the wiring and things like this. For example, right here, here's a mass airflow sensor and the intake air temperature sensor that's built into one unit, and pins one and two are for that IAT sensor. So for example, here, you can use a multimeter. You can go check out those two pins, check out the wiring going to it, be sure there's no opens or shorts or anything like this. But again, when you go to check out the wiring, you will need to get a diagram or schematics for your particular vehicle. But the last thing on the list is going to be bad wiring. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0097 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.